Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's Daily Video Devo, and I'm also including this in the Friday newsletter at church. In Psalm 10, verses 17 and 18, it says, O oh Lord, you hear the desire of the afflicted. You will strengthen their heart. You will incline your ear to do justice to the fatherless and the oppressed, so that man who is of the earth may strike terror no more. And I pray that we would all pray that for those who are fleeing this terrible war in Ukraine. And not only pray, we also want to practically help. The Bible tells us to do that too. And that's why we are giving to Ukraine refugee relief from the tlc.org slash relief fund. This is a fund we set aside so that we have capital to help with emergencies on a global and national scale. We've helped uh, hurricane victims, for example, through this flood, fire evacuation victims. And right now we are helping Ukrainian refugees through this fund. And we're doing that through a longtime trusted partner, World Venture. And actually, I'm being joined today by Marty Shaw, who many of us at Twin Lakes Church know. We support Marty and his ministry there. He's one of the executives at World Venture. And Marty, first of all, thanks for joining us today. How are you doing? Doing well. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, tell us what World Venture is doing for uh, refugees there fleeing the conflict in Ukraine. We've got uh, people, we've got all of our people who are in Ukraine, out of Ukraine, but they didn't go too far. They're in Hungary and Poland, and they're continuing to reach out, as well as all of our missionaries who have been assigned to uh, Poland have kind of diverted now and are working with uh, churches that they know and they partner with uh, to reach out to this flood of refugees that are coming in. What kinds of services are they providing those refugees? Well, one of the updates I got was uh, just housing. You come out, you know, you've got nothing but a suitcase. You've got uh, maybe a little bit more than that. You got little kids. So part of it is housing. Where are you going to stay? And of course, things are going up like crazy. Uh, and then um, food and all the other things that they couldn't take with them out of their home, uh, supplying those needs that they have. My uh, sister who lives up in Oregon, supports a missionary named June Johnson. She's a missionary nurse who works with special needs kids just 10 miles outside of Kiev. And she says, I see how God is working through his people. Throughout the country, the Church of Ukraine is boldly sharing and showing the love of Christ. On Facebook, it's been thrilling to watch churches in Ukraine united in prayer and fasting, singing hymns in the underground subway stations, helping their neighbors. It's a picture of heaven in the midst of war. Mm -hmm. You know, three years ago, I was in uh, Ukraine actually teaching at one of the seminaries there all the students I had are now in ministry. And I, I checked in and asked about it. And apparently they've all stayed in Ukraine. And they're, they're saying, hey, we're here to um, share the love of God, to be here in the midst of chaos and not knowing where this is going. So I think the stories, we're hearing some now, but we're going to hear a whole lot more. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Marty, so much for joining us. And I encourage everybody to keep praying for those Ukrainian refugees. And I really hope you join us this weekend for church. Community is so important in times of crisis. I'm going to be preaching on one of my favorite sign miracles of Jesus in the Gospel of John. It's going to be a wonderful weekend. And we have the annual meeting, free lunch. I know that got your attention. 1230. Join us. God bless you.